Welcome to Level Review, where we review classic levels from classic games. In this video, we are continuing with our review of Banjo-Kazooie. In case you're getting tired of us talking about this game, we are only two levels away from finishing the game. Unless you actually love us talking about this game, in which case, we're only two levels away from finishing the game. And if that isn't depressing enough, in today's video, we talk about one of the most depressing levels in the Banjo series, and that's... Rusty Bucket Bay. Where do I even begin with this level? Banjo-Kazooie has proven to be a very strong game when it comes to gameplay and design, but like almost every game, there's always that one level that people despise. That one level people know is coming and dread having to play. But Kazooie, that level is Rusty Bucket Bay. Hi! Spoiler alert, I'm just not a fan of this level at all, and this video might just be me shitting all over it. But before I do that, I want to talk about the positives. On paper, I don't actually mind the theme of the level. There's a giant cargo steamship known as the Rusty Bucket, which acts as the focal point of this level. And most of what you do in this level involves navigating on an endless ship. You have to climb all the way to the top of the ship onto the smokestack to collect one jiggy. You have to use the cranes to raise traps for another jiggy, and to drop bombs onto the ship to access a mechanical room to find a giant box for another jiggy. Which I'm still not sure why there's a giant wooden box down there, but okay. If I was to give any advice to anyone playing this level for the first time, it would be be observant. As a young kid, I definitely was not that, and maybe that's why I sucked so much at this level, and therefore grew to dislike it. But learn from my mistakes. On the side of the ship you will see numbers which correlate to a code you need to input by the whistles at the stern of the ship to get another jiggy. And of course, there's all the interactive entrances. You can smash through multiple glass windows, you can jump through exhaust pipes to gain access to the ship, but more on that later. Honestly, this level does a good job of getting the cargo, port, slash, bay, whatever you want to call it, themed down. But everything else is a failure in my eyes. A level can't stand on its theme alone to be good. It also has to be fun to play. And I've never had fun playing Rusty Bucket Bay. Ooh, that rhymed. First off, visually, it's so dull and boring. It's like someone just took 50 shades of grey to color this place, and... I'm a visual person, and I love vibrant colors. And you won't find anything colorful here except maybe this toxic water. Maybe they were trying to be realistic with the colors, as it's a ship surrounded by cargo. But what about Banjo is realistic? I mean, you have a sassy beehive threatening you if you come for her honey. Touch my honey this time or you'll be sorry, bitch. But if you look at most of the best levels in this game, you'll notice color is a big emphasis. And I think that was a miss here. Another big problem I have with this level is just how little fun it is to collect all the jiggies and notes. I'm a perfectionist, and love to get 100% on every level I play, but Rusty Bucket Bay makes it a damn challenge. The notes alone are scattered in so many different and random places. You have to find every room in the ship, go in each cargo box off the side of the ship, random holes in the wall that lead to other areas, this anchor hole. It's just constantly entering holes in all these spaces that are not even fun to explore. It's more tedious than anything. I get that this level is supposed to be hard, since so far the levels have been fairly easy to 100%, but at least make it enjoyable. And I'm sorry, but for one jiggy, what they expect you to do is quite difficult. Dare I say, the hardest in the game? You have to first enter a pipe on the ship that doesn't try to eat you, and hit this fan switch to slow down the ship's engines. Leave the room and break down this door to enter the smokestack. Climb down the long ladder and make your way across this moving platform and then climb to the top of these moving cogs. Hit both these propeller switches to stop the ship's propellers where Jiggy is chilling behind. Where you have 60 seconds to maneuver your way back through these obstacles, up the ladder, out of the ship, and race to the end where you must dive and hope that the controls work well enough where you can swim behind the frozen propellers. It's a fucking lot. And as a child, there's no way I have the skill set for that. What makes it even harder is that any second you can fall to your death, and then you're dead. Imagine collecting 80 notes and then you die here, only to have to collect them all over again if you want that treasured 100 notes accomplishment. It's enough to make a grown man rage. <laughs> and trust me, I've definitely done that in my time. Another tip here though is to definitely get this jiggy out of the way first. And if this level wasn't bad enough, there's a fucking anchor crushing a dolphin! A poor cute dolphin. That is so cruel. Why couldn't it be, I don't know, boggy? or anything else. But a dolphin named Snorkel? That's just dark. But at least you get to set him free. I think this is the second animal you set free in this game, and I'm honestly starting to ask questions. I wish I had more positive things to say about Rusty Bucket Bay, 
but unfortunately, I think it lacks the certain qualities that makes it a fun level. Not only is it visually dull, but it's also dull to play. Sure, there's lots of small different areas hidden to explore, but what makes Banjo levels fun are the environment and interacting with that environment to collect the jiggies, whether that's pushing the buttons of the snowman, flying through the rings of Gobby's Valley, or even freeing Clanker. Rusty Bucket Bay unfortunately lacks in that department, and collecting the jiggies in this level is more of a chore. This is probably the only level where I'd be okay not collecting all 100% of the jiggies and notes, and that's saying something. But on a positive note, if it weren't for levels like Rusty Bucket Bay, then I wouldn't have the same appreciation I do for the levels I really love, and know not to take for granted. I also like this little hidden nod to Treasure Trove Cove. Take note, Rusty Bucket. At the end of the day, I can't help but give Rusty Bucket Bay a D. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and apologies if you're a Rusty Bucket Bay lover. If I don't see you in Rusty Bucket Bay, then I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, keep pressing A.